Welcome here, this is one of Indy and today I'm gonna show you something which you maybe have seen in a lot of old school RPG games. This is sort of a kind of, well, uh, fork of war where you just go around and you reveal your map. And the basics behind that are pretty easy. You just have like this one tile set which is above the other tile set which is the, this visible green one with those well, patterns and the above one just gets kind of deleted but not really i just flip the um well the let's say for example for this tile and for the other one to which are in range i just flip their um, image index to zero and if it's zero it's just a transparent thing it's nothing and then it's gonna get sort of deleted and then you can see well the tile set which is below this gray one this is Wana Bindi, I am the developer of the game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you are new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every two days a video. So let's see how this works under the hood. So first of all, as you can see, you can see nothing because that is my kind of grey tile set and below that you can see well this is the the whole map and i don't want to reveal it completely because well that's part of my game um there i have a lot of things for example like my invisible walls that is not what i want to show you today so i have this well tile set and let's see how this looks like it's just basically this block everywhere that's it and the zero index is this dude here this little uh, i don't know how you call that shape um that's the zero index because i guess that's one two three four and that if it's zero it becomes transparent and that's why for example if we have the gray one and we just go for zero i can show you like basically like here i can paint here then as you can see well if i go if, if i do it to zero it just reveals this stuff so how does the rest work basically i just have this little o player overworld which is this dude here and he does a few things he just checks if a few things are in range and then if they are in range just flip well the specific tiles and then here we're gonna go in specifically how does this work so first of all we do two things we grab our layer which is this one then we grab on that layer that specific tile set and store well first of all the layer in the layer id and then we say all right we have a few tile sets and we want the specific one which is sitting on this layer here and then we store it into the map id and that we're going to use later on and here you can first of all ignore that because i'm going to show you that um on one tile and then well in conjunction to all the rest ones so the for loop you can completely ignore because that is something i'm going to show you in a few seconds so how could you go about first of all you need to get the x and y position on the tile set so let's delete this one and for example you want to for example this point and if you have this point you have this little tile here where the player is there and that is that is something we get with tile map get cell x at the pixel so basically we just check the pixel and then we say on what kind of tile set we want to check and we want to check on well this one which we just stored in the map id and then the specific position which i call which is just the x and y of the object there and then later on i'm gonna put some extra x and extra y and these things are just there so i can loop through different kind of positions like let's say for example one two three four five and uh, well to kind of have a sort of circular shape and then i just well do that with those four loops but for now you can ignore that and once we have those well positions we store them and in this variable mx and my and these things again we store in a specific thing which is called data 
and this data variable is basically just a bit mask or for simplicity reason that's just the specific tile we are targeting and that of course again we need to check on which um, well, tile set we want to check it the one we stored and then on these kind of positions and here in this data we store a lot of things this is uh, well basically the whole tile with all its well information so about rotation what kind of image index and has and so on it has a few more data in there and then we store into that variable and that variable we say all right flip the image index you just say all right on this tile set with on that tile we want to set its image index to zero and that is what i just showed you for example if i I don't know, uh, come on, come on. If I go for the zero thing, I can just delete anything. And that is exactly what we're gonna do here. And then we need to, at last point, apply it. So we just say, all right, we need our tile set we want to target, then the tile we want to use, and on that, on that position. And then all the informations which are here stored are gonna get set to the tile set and then it says all right just update those positions and here specifically on just this little one tile just update the position and the one tile it's gonna get well flipped to zero and then it's transparent and then we can see through what I do I just do a few for loops and basically I just do like rows like the row on the zero value of the player so first row then 16 plus um, 32 plus and so on and so on and they are just gonna get for example this one we check if you, uh, the maximum position of 11 things from let's say uh, 96 to well minus 96 and decrease that amount for example here we just go for uh, 32 to minus 32 so it gets a little bit smaller and then we kind of create this round shape so this is just the loop and then we just go for from all the positions from the bottom to the top and just well use those x extra and y extra positions and as you can see i go for the loop and just say all right check for uh well the the, the y position which is uh, here and just go through all of them and if we are on these kind of positions just flip the image index and that I'm gonna do in this kind of circle shape that is basically it so if you want to understand how this works it is pretty easy so for example if you're getting lost um, there are a lot of um, explanations to that and I derived it from I don't know what is it Räume uh, rooms and then uh, tile sets that was it hopefully that was kind of entertaining and useful to you um, and you can maybe apply it to a game and that was pretty much it have a good one one up indie